Brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. I hope this how-to video helps you out. And next time you need parts for your vehicle, think of 1AAuto.com. Thanks. In this video, we're going to show you how to remove and reinstall the front grille on this 2003 Volkswagen Passat. Um, the only tools you'll need are kind of a medium or regular size and a larger size uh, flat blade screwdriver. And then you'll need a T30 Torx driver. Okay, as you open up the hood, you'll see two T30 Torx screws on the top edges of the grille. And here I'll just fast forward as I remove those two bolts. Okay, next you're going to want to remove this handle. And right in here, you can see there's a little metal clip. Put a screwdriver down in there and pry that clip up. Okay, so you can see you have the clip up there. Then take your screwdriver, put it in, and pry the handle apart and pull it off. Okay, so I just reached in with my screwdriver, pried off one side, pulled, and then pried off the other side and pulled that right out. Now right here in the center you'll see a little tab you pry back on that tab and lift your grill uh, straight up on each side. And it should pop out. Sometimes you'll get one of the clips. I'm just reaching down in here, kind of prying this last clip. Out. Okay, these clips should just pull right up and out. This one kind of got hung up a little bit, so I just had to, I had to go in there on the back side and pry like that. Okay, once you have it in place, then you want to uh, put the four T30 bolts that are um, at the bottom of the grill back in place and tighten them up firmly. Now we'll take the grill. And there's four slots at the bottom, and then these two tabs here, and that tab at the top. You want to kind of put it into place. We'll line it up. Make sure all your tabs are going in. The top one. Right down in. And again, we'll fast forward here as we put those two uh, T30 bolts back in at the top. Okay, to reinstall this, what you actually need to do is unbolt your latch mechanism, and there's three 10 millimeter bolts here, here, and here. Okay, this allows your latch mechanism to move back here. Okay, so you take your handle, kind of squeeze the forks just a little bit and insert it. Okay, then you can kind of look back through here. You need to make sure that clip is up. Okay, you want a little bit of a larger screwdriver. And separate the forks. Separate those forks by twisting the screwdriver and then work the um, handle on there and then push the clip down and lock it in place. And you can tell it's in place when this moves around. Okay. Now we can and we'll kick it into high gear as I rebolt that latch mechanism uh, back onto the radiator support. We hope this helps you out. Brought to you by www.1aauto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. 
please feel free to call us toll free 888-844-3393. We're the company that's here for you on the internet and in person.